try to spook us by throwing a box at us. Next thing, we're being called n and Negro while trying to watch a movie in Orange Beach. Good evening, a woman is taking to social media after she claims she was the target of a racist verbal attack inside an Alabama movie theater. She was watching the movie The Color Purple the day after Christmas. That's when she claimed some teens, part of a bigger group of about seven, yelled racial slurs at her. Outside the AMC Classic on the wharf, Colo Wilkinson's eyeshadow and scarf are the embodiment of The Color Purple. This movie meant a lot to me. Pictures show Wilkinson, her sister, and her best friend the day after Christmas at the theater. I had worn an item that was important to my mother um, because she introduced me to this amazing book. Wrapped in her mother's purple shawl, she had no idea movie night would have a different ending. This movie is so much about embracing your power and standing in your power, being proud of your skin, and to have individuals steal that from us is obscene, disgusting. About five minutes into the screening, Wilkinson claims they were hit by a box of crackers, but what came next carried more weight. A couple minutes later, somebody yelled out the words and Negro, and we immediately got up from our seats. We were very, very scared. She claims a group of white teen boys were to blame. My sister actually tried to chase them down and was almost successful, but clearly these were young athletes. They ran very quickly through the parking lot, at which time my sister called Orange Beach Police Department. Orange Beach Police say they have no audio or video, but are investigating her report. I'm told the officer who responded talked to people in and around the theater and the wharf. Leads from them helped officers track down who the boys were. Police confirm the teenagers who are from the area are under 16 years old. Officers spoke to them and their parents. If somebody can come into a dark theater, yell out Negro, yell out and clear a theater because individuals are afraid, that to me constitutes a hate crime, period. A lieutenant said while it could be considered harassment, what happened isn't enough to be deemed a hate crime. And ultimately, a juvenile probation officer would decide whether they appear in juvenile court or not. I love you. Wilkinson's best friend was there at the movie that night. I spoke to the movie theater manager who confirmed teenagers have been causing trouble over the last six months in similar incidents, yelling racial slurs. Wilkinson said theater employees told her it's cost them thousands of dollars. These children, these teenagers, have been coming to the theater and causing a disturbance to moviegoers. Um, when moviegoers got up to complain about the disturbances, they would ask for a refund of their tickets, of course. The manager offered to give Wilkinson a private screening of the movie. While she's grateful, she's not sure if or when she will ever feel safe sitting in a darkened movie theater again. I shouldn't have to wonder if that's going to happen to me, my friends, my family, when we come and see a movie, particularly a movie that means so much to my community. Orange Beach police told me incidents like this aren't really things they get on a regular basis. They said that could be because the cases don't always get reported.